Creating meaningful interactions. People are meaning making machines, or more generally, pattern finding machines. We look for organisation and purpose in all sorts of things. We are constantly looking to see if there's some causality or meaning in activities. Sometimes we project intentions onto things, even if they don't exist. Which is why we say things like, the computer refused to respond, or the planets aligned, or the traffic lights are trying to slow me down, and so on. As designers or artists, we often use this tendency to imply intention to our advantage by making magical things happen when maybe simply random outcomes might appear organised. This is because users or audiences read all sorts of meaning into events. This kind of implied meaning was evident in an installation of audio sonic objects at the Brisbane World Science Festival in 2017. In this installation, microprocessor based devices with a microphone and loudspeaker listen to the environment for any prominent sound and responded by playing back a randomly selected short sound file. Simple acoustic instruments like a bell were provided to encourage visitors to make a noise. A number of these machines were in the exhibition space and they responded independently to each other as well as to human generated sounds. They were not capable of distinguishing one sound from another. The result was the emergence of periodic um, periods of sonic activity due to, due to reinforcement and feedback as the microphones heard other sounds and then made sounds in turn. This is a situation that dissipated as the sound stimulus declined. What was really intriguing was to see how people were trying to make sense of what was going on. Many audience members were convinced that the machine selected particular sounds to play in response to the sounds people made when actually sound choice was random. Participants would invent elaborate theories of how the machines operated and explain these to others that entered the space. Audience members looked for meaningful behaviour in the machines and invented it even when none existed. An early researcher into meaning and technological media was Susan Langer who started her work in the 1950s. She highlighted our innate need to create meaning from experiences and pointed out how this played an important psychological function in making sense of our place in the world. A point from her work worth emphasising is that meanings arise from both intellectual and emotional responses. So as designers we need to take both of these perspectives into account. Users develop a feeling about an experience, an emotional response but they also try and think it through logically. They want to tell a story about the experience that matches their emotional response. A sense of meaningfulness in an experience can be very useful, but at times it can be destructive. For example, when we read unintended hostility or unfair bias into just simply coincidental outcomes. Because we can't stop people trying to find meaning in the experiences we design, we need to make sure that we manage the experience to direct users towards the meanings that are intended. There are many ways of making experiences meaningful. One way is to connect the activity to issues or outcomes that are personally important to the user. Perhaps the experience relates to their family or friends of their family. This is why social media interactions are so powerful. Another approach is to connect something which is culturally significant, for example addressing a, so a social problem like inequality or managing climate change. Experiences that, are more than a bit of, more, experiences that are more than a bit of light entertainment and are more likely to be meaningful. As designers, we also make experiences meaningful by isolating the really critical parts of a task, the things that are really going to be important and not focusing too much attention on aspects which are irrelevant. We add value through identifying the salient aspects of an activity and focusing the user's attention on that. 
The meaningful, the meaningful engagement matrix is a tool to help evaluate the notion of meaningfulness in our interactive technologies and other creative endeavours. This is both a design tool and useful for reviewing and analysing what's going on. It helps us critique our interactive technologies. Along the top of the matrix are different modes of engaging. Down the left hand side of the matrix are three contexts in which meaning can arise. The modes of creative engagement include appreciating an activity, evaluating or reviewing it, directing or leading an activity, exploring what might be possible, and embodying an experience. These are different modes of engagement. The locations or situations in which meanings arise include those that lead to personal meaning, things that have meaning to us as an individual. Some may have social meaning, those things which are important in our interactions with others and assist us to cooperate together as a group. Then there can be cultural meanings, things where we have been recognised by our community, where we have made a contribution to the cultural life of our community. Activities can be meaningful at all three different levels and it's useful to unpack how experience designs can tap into these different ways of being meaningfully engaged.